Apparently, Twitter is working on a new podcast tab to help discovery and engagement of podcasts. So for the longest time, it's been really hard to find new podcasts unless you've got a cult following or you've been covered in a magazine or TV or you've seen ads or you, your inner circle, you've been recommended a podcast. It is generally quite difficult to find out about podcasts. And um, there is no social media that kind of really facilitates the discovery of podcasts. So Twitter, Twitter, Twitter they're, they're interesting because they, they like to try different things. They, in fact, if you think of things like Instagram stories, the, the origins of that came from a company called Meerkat and another one called Periscope, which Twitter developed. And what happened was Periscope were bought by Twitter. So when, when Twitter saw what was going on with live streaming, they said, yeah, we want a piece of the action. We want peace. And then that kind of drove Meerkat underground. Everyone adopted that. And then obviously Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, he said he wasn't missing out on this. He wanted some of this cake too. So yeah, here we are today. Twitter is, um, they've always kind of like got their, their finger on the pulse when it comes to these new trends. So although podcasting is not a new trend, they came out with something called Spaces, which I, I don't know if you're familiar with. Um, I'm not too hot on those kind of things, but if you don't know what Spaces is, it's kind of like a, a, a like a equivalent to Clubhouse. So right now, Twitter are apparently working on a new podcast tab. So yeah, I think that would be great because when you are when you're dealing with podcasts, uh, one of the best things about podcasts is the conversation that happens after. Uh, sneaky plug: if you, again, if you want to get involved in this conversation on the podcast. Uh, use the re- redesigned pod hashtag on Twitter. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on what we're talking about here. So anyway, um, for podcasts, this is according to an article on social media today. For podcasts, Twitter also acquired the podcast discovery at Breaker. So if you don't know what Breaker is, Bre- Breaker is like um, a dedicated podcast platform. So stuff, it's kind of like Apple Podcasts, if you don't know, or like where you listen to podcasts on Stitcher, that kind of thing. So the article says if Twitter can get it right, it could be a great addition, especially when you consider that podcast listenership has increased significantly in recent years. So the major clue is that Twitter have actually bought Breaker, which is a dedicated podcast platform. They've got spaces. So it would make sense if eventually they did something where they incorporated podcasts into Twitter. The thing is, I've got a love-hate relationship with Twitter because uh, Twitter is a is the dirtiest social media network. I don't know what's dirtier, Snapchat or Twitter, because it, it's just disgusting. Some of the things that pop up on your timeline when you're minding your own business, um, they, they really need to tighten up their, their censorship. Um, but anyway, I digress. So the article also says um, the addition will also likely tie into Twitter's increasing creator push in providing another way for creators to build audience around their content in the app. Podcasts at the moment are a predominantly passive experience with the listener tuning in, then moving on. But part of the concept of Breaker was also to add in social elements like episode comments and likes, which could help build engagement and community and improve podcast discovery in the app. This is the thing. I had um, I actually downloaded Breaker a long time ago, maybe about two years ago. And it was really a good app, but it just never really caught mainstream adoption. So the fact that Twitter has bought Breaker, um, let's let's see what happens. Because for now, I don't know if Twitter, I don't know if they've got a good track record. They bought Periscope. No one really cares about that. They saw Clubhouse. They started Spaces. I don't know, guys. I'm not really into all of that stuff. Spaces and Clubhouse. What, in your opinion? are people more drawn to clubhouse or spaces i don't know let me know use the hashtag redesign pod uh again i'm gonna start promoting this hashtag like crazy we gotta get some engagement up in here so yeah that's it about podcasts coming to twitter it'd be very interesting to see what happens and how that plans out 